everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. We're talking mortgages again. And we have our BMO man with us from the Bank of Montreal. He'll take a bow. Asad Naim is with us. Good to see you, Asad. Uh, we've both too, got uh, our warm clothing on today. I've got me two come. Yeah. <laughs> I lost my hair, but all right. <laughs> yeah, wrong time of the year. Should run it. In yeah. <laughs> the the subject we've got today we have kind of done before, uh, but we just wanted to reiterate it because as you say there's a lot of people asking about it at the moment as well. Yeah. So let's just uh, talk about short term rentals and the implications in, in Calgary and Alberta of short term rentals. There you go yeah for sure no um one thing i want to start off with is the difference between a short-term rental and a residential now when we're talking about short-term rental we're talking about those properties which are specifically zoned for short-term rental they're not necessarily zoned for residential meaning you can't buy those properties to live in yourself you can only buy those properties to put up as short-term rentals so this is what this heading encompasses with residential you can buy it it can be any other property in any other neighborhood and you can end up living in it for a little bit and you can rent off a portion of it or you can rent off the entire thing either on long term or short term for short-term rentals these are mostly your vacation suites or your vacation condos up in tourist destination areas such as banff or canmore those are very popular areas around here so this pertains to properties which are in those areas where tourists will come they'll stay there for a little bit they'll do some sightseeing they'll enjoy the surroundings and then they'll go back home Lately, I've been getting a lot of traction from people asking about short-term rentals and how you can actually qualify for it and what those really are. So in a nutshell, you know, just to start off, that's what short-term rentals are. And how do you know it's a short-term rental? You look at the zoning for that property and the zoning is specifically for short-term rentals. It actually says it over there and how you can actually qualify for it. Well, BMO has different legibilities for that criteria, right? Um, you can either purchase a property or refinance a short-term property, or you can actually switch over from a different financial institution to BMO with your short-term rental. Now, you can get a conventional uninsured mortgage for a short-term rental, or you can get a collateral mortgage such as a home ready line or a homeowner's line of credit uh, for that short-term rental as well. Now, other programs that BMO does allow with short-term rentals is your BMO Savers Advantage program, whereas if you have a lot of equity or a lot of healthy savings for more than a year, which are liquid, and you want to put that towards buying a new home, then you can show that you have those liquid assets for over a year, and we can qualify you on the BMO Savers Advantage program. We can cover that program on a different uh, topic. Uh, new to Canada can also participate in purchasing short-term rentals. Uh, you can also purchase your short-term rentals in a personal holding company or a formal trust. Now, the type of properties that you can buy as a short-term rental are anything between one to four units that are zoned as short-term rental properties. You can buy vacation homes. You can e They can either be leased or on old land. So the land can either be leased out to you or you can own the land with the purchase of the property as well. Now, to get to the specifics of the mortgage itself, there has to be a minimum of 25% down payment on the property that you're buying. The amortization can be up to 30 years for that. And there is always a need for a full appraisal on the property that you are going to buy. Now, how it works is because it's a rental property, in essence that you are purchasing an investment property we could use 80 percent of that future gross rental income that you would generate from that property now if the property was already built and up and running and has a history of rentals being gone in and out then we can use past gross rental income in consideration or the best way to do it 
is by having economic rent, which is confirmed by an appraiser, meaning we go out and we have uh, an appraiser do a fair market rental appraisal on that property to show us what that month to month income can be from that uh, rental property. And then we will take 80% of that gross income and add that into your uh, mortgage application to help you qualify for that. But in a nutshell, that's what short term rental properties are in terms of zoning um, those are the type of properties that you could buy and those are the basic minimum requirements for your mortgage application for short-term rental properties and Stu's always here to help out to find you some rental properties and to help you negotiate the buying transaction and i'm always here to help you get qualified on those properties so if anybody ever has any questions you know we're the dynamic duel to uh, <laughs> yeah. in touch with the gruesome twosome we are. Yeah, for sure. Um, what I was going to say was, so if anything, everyone's got a plan about, I wouldn't mind doing some short-term rentals. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, first thing you should do, give you a call. Your information's coming up uh, just before the end of the video and go over what the plan is. That's probably the best thing, isn't it? And Absolutely. you'll give them any red flags that you see, but otherwise you'll take them, you know, take them through the whole procedure. Uh, am sure. I correct in that? Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, we're always here to help. Okay, yeah. I'll wish you a good rest of the week and a warmer no. rest of the week. Looks like it's going For to be sure. good you this well. weekend. A bit of sunshine. Thanks, <laughs> Cross. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'll talk to you next week, and we'll pick another subject. To sir, have a good week. Definitely. You Cheers, too. Buddy. Take care. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to be notified of new ones.